in our last session what we have discussed we have discussed the basic sql select statement now what exactly we are going to discuss in this session so in this session we are going to discuss in detail how exactly that sql statement execute or i can say that how exactly it retries the data from the table how how that query come to know that which row it's supposed to pick and how it internally work so that is the thing which we are going to discuss in this session so guys as you can see on the my left hand side i have written one query which is select a star from the employee table where employee id is equal to 100 now let's understand how exactly it internally works or how exactly this query will come to know which row it's supposed to pick up from the employee table so let's understand this for that i need to draw one employee table so as you can see on the your screen i have drawn one outline of the employee table now let me feed the information in this employee table so guys as you can see over here this is uh, these are the column uh, e emp underscore id name and date of birth so these are the three column available in the employee table for the time being understand okay now let me feed the information in this table so let's say for example your employee id is equal to 500 and then second one let me first draw the rows and then 600 and then 300 okay and then 100 and then let's say for example 1000 something like that okay now a name is your raju laksh bhaksh sona mm, som something like that we have a name over here date of birth 01 02 1994 very young guy guess 03 1993 zero one zero four nineteen ninety five zero one zero five nineteen ninety six zero one zero six nineteen ninety seven something like that we have contained in the employee table now let me write the query as we have written in the our left hand side same query i will write it over here so what i will write over here select star from employee where employee underscore id is equal to 100 now let's understand how exactly it internally works or how exactly it comes to know that which row it's supposed to pick now as soon as i uh, trigger or as soon as i run this query it will mark over here it will start to point over here now it will identify how many columns are in the where class so for the time being over here we have only one column so uh, whatever the con condition evaluation will be done on the employee underscore id so uh, coming back to the origin original discussion so what will happen as soon as this query will get execute it will start to point over here now what will happen since we have only over here employee id you can see in the where condition so it will pick up the this value so what it will do it will replace over here employee id uh, column with the 500 so what it will do it will internally evaluate this query like this where condition okay now it will check whether the our left hand side value is equal to right hand side value or not if it is yes then it will mark this row as yes or if my left hand side value is not equal to right hand value then it will mark as no yes means it will get displayed on the screen no means it won't get display on the screen so in our case what will happen it will mark as a no it means that it won't get display on the screen now after that it will move the cursor forward to the next row so over here what it will do it will pick up the over here 600 600 again it will be get replaced over here 
with the employee id so again internally the uh, evaluation will be like this or expression will be like this so again it will check whether the our left hand uh, side value is equal to right hand side or not if it is yes then it will mark yes yes means it will be get displayed on the screen so in our case it is not equal to uh, uh, left hand side value is not equal to our right hand side so it will mark as a no okay it means that it won't be get displayed on the screen now same thing will be done with the this 300 okay so in the uh, 300 case also 300 is not equal to 100 it means it again will be marked as a no now uh, uh, the cursor will be moved to the next row which is nothing but your 100 now again 100 will be get replaced over here now again it will check whether the our uh, hand, uh, left hand side value is equal to right hand side or not so in our case it is yes it is left hand side value is our equal to uh, right hand side so it will mark as a yes yes means it will be get displayed on the screen now again this cursor will be get moved to the next row which is nothing but your 1000 so again 1000 will be get replaced over here and again it will check whether the our left hand side is equal to right hand side or not so in our case it is not so it will mark as a no over here now <coughs> again it will evaluate what all the uh, rows we have marked as yes or it will look what all the mark uh, rows we have marked as yes yes means we, we those rows which we are going to display on the screen so in our case this is the only one and only one row which is marked as a yes means this will this row will be get picked up and this row will be displayed on the screen so this is how exactly it will work and this is how exactly it will come to know which row it's supposed to pick from the employee table or any table so guys i hope you have understood how exactly it internally works and how exactly it will come to know which row it's supposed to pick so guys that's all from the execution point of view and guys if you like the video then hit the like button share it and if you want to get the regular update on my channel then don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you so much watching for the video bye bye take care